kitchen experiment, especially smoothies. I've blended all sorts of mad combinations. Strawberry and charcoal, broccoli and chocolate. Not my best. With 60% lower carbon emissions by 20. And with up to an extra. We're here. Than half price. To move into the home. Find out more about oh, I'm just going to pop down to that London designer outlet in Wembley Park. Oh, again. I'm Santa. I have to stock up for next year. Already? Yes. They always have up to 70% off RRP, but starting Boxing Day, they have a really big sale. So even more savings on top of that? Exactly. But don't you get recognised by that big beard? No, no, no. It was hipsters. <laughs> It's BT's best ever January sale. Why? Because our super fast fibre price has never ever been lower. Because get it. That's broadband sorted. Search BT broadband. CPI increase each March starting 2020. New customers is $29.99 per month over 24 months. $52.99 per month, 25 terms apply. Today's $1.99 wrap of the day is the new fajita chicken one. Guaranteed to cause flavour envy. Picture a soft tortilla wrap filled with... Ooh, pepper jack cheese. Uh, check out those jalapenos. And bet that Mexican salsa tastes amazing. Today's new $1.99 fajita chicken one. So big on flavour, everyone will want some. Only at McDonald's. <laughs> from 11am. With a welcome bonus from the no annual... Newsroom for LBC. I'm Holly Jones. This is LBC from Global, leading Britain's conversation with Tom Swarbrick.
afternoon to you. Just gone three o'clock. Tom Swarbrick in for Sheila Fogarty on a very busy afternoon here on LBC. In half an hour's time, we'll speak to the mayoral candidate for London, Rory Stewart, who, uh, as well as being the former Secretary of State for the Department for International Aid, was a former Deputy Governor for the transitional government in Iraq following the 2003 Iraq invasion and can perhaps give us some insights into why it didn't work, the transition uh, from Iraq as was into Iraq as a flourishing democratic state, what went so wrong. And it is indeed from some of from, uh, from those lessons that the conclusion is drawn by many, many people in this country that further military action overseas is never, ever justifiable, that any military intervention cannot happen 